Okay, folks, here's the task. We are flooded in. Over there, the water is a couple, two, three foot deep going off on the road that goes around those trees and then back on the road over there, it's three, four foot deep. So we can't get the cars out that way. And it's not likely to drop. Even if it did drop on the roadside, the lake is probably not gonna drop uh, very fast at all and it continues to rain. So we are considering driving down here on this berm um, and here's some earth that we need to move so that we can drive up over here and clear some brush down there and go out to the natural gas line, which then hooks up with a road. Uh, there's some water standing down there. So we're gonna have to um, see if we are gonna be capable to go through that water with this, this low riding small vehicle or see if there's some way to clear some of the uh, vegetation out around that corner and uh, get out a little bit farther up from the water. So let's go take a look and see what that looks like. Here's the natural gas line up here. It's high and dry enough. Water was up here. So these water levels should continue to drop out here, but it doesn't help that it's raining every day here still. But those lakes that filled up, uh, who knows how long it's gonna take for those to go down. So we start to get into some standing water right here, as you can see. We've got a lot of grape growing up here. But we should be able to drive through here. We had a little problem with some muck here. And uh, yeah, piles of mud and such. And then we got some uh, water here. Uh, really don't want to get in too deep with that vehicle. Uh, here it's, you know, a foot and a half, let's say here. Uh, so we're going to look at a possibility of uh, <clears throat> moving some earth and some uh, some vegetation here. Uh, but this is a bit excessive here, this whole pile right here. This is a bit of work for just a man with a shovel. Some heavier equipment, it could be done a lot quicker and easier. Um, <clears throat> Again, wheels just might get stuck trying to go through through here. I'm already sinking with my feet down in the mud here. But that's what we're looking at. Um, don't know that there's any other way to get out of here. Now, there's the road down there. We were out there with a kayak yesterday, and it's three, four foot deep going down there. So there's no going down there. So there's a question whether it'd be any other way to cut through this woods area with a vehicle. But, you know, this, of course, is that's just a massive growth of uh, vines and such. Um, 